The bull market is already here. Although many can't see it due to the bear market trauma they received and the resulting cognitive dissonance. But today we're going to heal that trauma and get your mind clear, showing you exactly why we are already in the beginning stages of the next bull run. So namaste with me because it's time for Chico Crypto. Yeah, it's hard for trauma-filled investors to see and realize, but it has been over 700 days since the last bull run cycle peak. To be specific, 707 days since the price was over $69,000. Those that have experienced these 707 days are having a hard time imagining that the price of Bitcoin can ever reach those high prices again. Although when you break down and chart out what has happened in the past bear market cycles, imagining BTC going parabolic once again becomes so much easier. If you didn't know in past cycles, the bear markets don't last over 700 days. As we can see from the red areas in past cycles, the bear market lasts under 400 days. In the 2011 cycle, it lasted 154 days. In 2014, 399 days. And in 2018, 357 days. Taking the average of the past cycles, the bear, when the price keeps going down and lower and lower, it lasts just 303 days. 303 average bear market. Remember, we're 707 days since the last cycle peak. Historically, we are out of the clear. We are possibly 404 days into this cycle's accumulation phase and beginning bull. And the price action over the past 500 days paints a very clear picture of this. If you didn't know, during the last 500 days, 494 to be exact, Bitcoin has been ranging in between 30K down to a low of 15K. Although this range has gotten even tighter over the past 200 days. During this time, BTC has been ranging between 30K and 25K. Bitcoin is making higher highs and the range is tightening. It's coiling up and getting ready to make a significant move. And I believe that move is a bullish one, a breakout up. Why do I think this? Well, when you investigate the price action throughout 2023, this is exactly what it looks like. If you weren't paying attention at the beginning of 2023, the bear market trend was officially broke in the beginning of the year. Throughout all of 2022, the price action has been down, with no bullish trends lasting more than a couple weeks. Well, from January of 2023 to March, we had a bullish trend that pumped the price from down to 16K all the way up to 24K. The bear market ended in the beginning of 23. Throughout this year, we have been in the accumulation phase, the phase of the markets that is majority sideways, but it's the best time to buy. Although this is hard to see because the markets trick investors by changing between bullish and bearish rapidly. As we can see after March of this year, the markets had their first major bear trap a market movement that makes the bears think that the bear market is going to continue and the price is going to sink even further. In early March, the price fell from around 24K down to 20K. And as we can see from the news headlines at this time, the markets were very, very bearish. Traders were losing money big time and the markets crashed. That headline came out March 9th. But if we go back to the chart, we can see by mid-March, the big breakout came. In just a few days, the price jumped from 20K to 
30K. Yep, this was the perfect setup to trap those bears and they trapped them big time. As we can see from this liquidation chart during March, the liquidations between bearish shorts and bullish longs were almost exactly equal. This isn't the only major bear trap that was seen over the past year. This year has been full of them, and we just had another one over the past week. From this chart of price action lately, we can see there were two other major bear traps this year. The first one came in the middle of June, and then just a couple weeks ago at the end of September. These were fake breakdowns that got the bears pulling triggers again, putting in leverage shorts that were immediately liquidated by large buy candles. Well, large buy candles have been occurring this week. The price has jumped from below 26K Sunday to over 28.5K. Now, I was one of the only people sticking to my bullish guns and predicting this would happen. Even predicting this bullishness would continue towards the end of the year. But the others, they weren't predicting it. Like this guy, Ben Cohen, who uses lines there, lines here. Lines everywhere. To predict Bitcoin's movements. And he was completely wrong. I, I think there is a good chance here that this is already the topping pattern that the Bitcoin's putting in. And then the issue becomes that as liquidity dries up in the altcoin market and Bitcoin really starts to roll over, then you know how far down can it go? But it was just the trend of these YouTubers to turn bearish for views. Everyone did during this past month, especially in September. But I stayed bullish to the end and I have the receipt. I predict $38,000 January 1st, 2024. I believe 38K by the end of 2023. Like I said, though, we're in the middle of a bear trap right now. So how high could the price go by the end of this trap? Well, looking at the past two major traps, this could give us a little idea of how high. In the first trap, the price pumped from a low of around 20,000 to a high of about 30K. This came from the middle of March to the middle of April, and it was a 50% increase. In the second trap, the price jumped from around 25K to 31,000 from the middle of June to the middle of July, an increase of 19% in a month. So we can conclude that bear market traps this cycle have lasted around a month and on average from bottom to top is a 34% increase. Checking out the price over the past week, the price has jumped from around 26.9K to 28.5K, a pump of about 6%. Obviously, if this is another big bear trap, compared with the last ones, we still have a lot of room to grow. So where, Tyler, where is that price going? Well, checking out this liquidation heat map for Bitcoin leverage platforms and positions, over the next three months, the big liquidation level is sitting at above 30K, around 31.5K. This is where I believe Bitcoin will be heading in the next couple of weeks, officially breaking out of this 25K to 30K range and on its way to the next parabolic cycle peak of this run. What do you guys and gals think? Where is Bitcoin going to go? Let me know down in the comments and don't just give a range like some people do. Give me an exact price and win. And of course, if you haven't, make sure to subscribe and follow me on all my socials and join the chat groups. Links for everything are somewhere around here. Cheers. I'll see you next time. The most trustless name